Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you for a walk around the Big Tech 70TV Tandem Axle High Side Utility Landscape Trailer. This is a solid side series. It has a two foot high side. Everything except for the spare tire mount, I believe, on this is all standard equipment. Uh, it's got two axle brakes. And let's take you for a walk around the trailer, show you all the standard equipment. This unit's going to weigh in at about 2,000 pounds empty. It's going to give a net legal payload of about 5,000 pounds plus some tongue transfer to the truck side. This unit's got an adjustable coupler standard. Uh, cast couplers are nice. They do require a little bit of a break-in period. Throw a little WD-40 or grease uh, on these couplers. I can't hardly open it with one hand. Uh, but basically, you open this up, squeeze shut. Super nice heavy-duty setup. Uh, used a lot in the livestock industry and more of your higher end trailers. Uh, but that's a cast coupler. It is adjustable. We can put a different size ball or a panel, you name it, with that adjustable coupler. Uh, we can make it happen. This unit's also got a setback jack. So instead of your traditional A-frame jack you see up front, it's set back. Some folks uh, ask why the importance. And the answer is the, the one main thing that we like it for is truck tailgates come down right about there. So depending on the length of the ball mount, it may or may not be in the way for you to set your tailgate down all the way. With it set back, it's gonna be a little more stable. Uh, it's also gonna give you that extra clearance uh, so that the jack is farther back and out of the way. Uh, it also uh, gives you a triple tube tongue as well. So instead of your standard A-frame, it's got that extra cross member headered up. It makes that whole area a little bit stronger. It's got a sealed wiring harness. It's a cold weather wiring harness, which is why it would be blue. It stays flexible to negative 65 degrees. It's also got a 7RV blade style plug, which is standard in the trailer industry. Uh, pretty much what's on all trucks. You'll notice on the end of the plug, it does have color codes, which is nice. Uh, this is one of the first harnesses I've seen now do that in the industry. Uh, this unit is, as we mentioned, a high side. Uh, sometimes you'll see trailers that are called a high side, more like what I'd call a solid side. This is a true high side in that it comes up two foot. I believe the exact measurements, you've got two foot of high side, a little bit of an opening. I believe it measures close to 30 uh, inches to the top of the side rail. This unit does have a four inch channel tongue. It is a full wrap tongue, meaning it wraps all the way back to your spring hangers. Uh, typically a 7,000 pound utility would have a three inch angle iron frame. Uh, you'll notice this does have a four inch angle iron frame. So a little bit heavier on the main frame does have all sealed beam rubber mounted LED lights. It's got stake pockets for tie downs. Uh, notice on the sidewall too, it's got a corrugation uh, in it for extra strength. I'll give you a demo. If that were a long flat wall, it would be noisy and whatnot. Uh, that corrugation adds a good bit of strength to the side. And then tying that all together uh, would be a two by two tubular top rail uh, at the top. Four tie downs are built in to the corner standard. It's got a two by eight <coughs> pressure treated pine flooring. You've got some stake pockets uh, at the front, but then also at the rear. So you got four tie downs inside, four tie downs outside. Uh, rather than a smooth fender straight, this is your smooth teardrop. <coughs> Excuse me, that teardrop adds extra strength to that fender. If it were just straight, wouldn't be near as strong. It's also got brakes on both axles. It's got your traditional eye to eye suspension. This unit's got a good ride 20575R15. It's a load range C six ply radial tire. It's on a black mod wheel. Uh, these are Dexter brand axles. It's got the newer style never adjust brakes, which self tension, uh, just like an automobile, require minimal maintenance throughout the life of the pad. This also has the easy lube hubs. If you're not familiar, normally you can take your finger like so, and there's a greasert center of your uh, axle, and a homeowner with basic hand tools can do your own uh, maintenance. That said, you don't want to over grease the uh, bearing. If you do, you'll push your inner axle seal out, and it would get grease on your brakes. Uh, torque spec, 90 to 120 foot pounds. And I do believe these are going to be a five on four and a half. I'm sorry, a five on five lug pattern. Um, 
the uh, five on fives are kind of hard to come by. Five on four and a half is a little bit easier. Um, if that is a five on five, like I believe it is, might be worth grabbing a spare tire. They're kind of hard to find. Tractor supplies and Walmarts normally keep five on four and a half. Moving on toward the back, a couple of the nice features we like. It is a spring assisted gate, very simple to take on and off. There are no tools. Simple, uh, I call it a tractor pin. I'm not sure what the fancy name is, but there are no tools to take it off. It's also gonna be a two by two uh, tubular gate instead of hang wire. Uh, we found hang wire's ideal for garden tractors, golf carts, zero turn mowers, and I would say up to uh, small to mid-sized UTV. Uh, on a tandem max where you can get a higher payload, we like the tubular gate. Uh, we've got a handful of different yard tractors, all roughly 60 horsepower, weighing in five to 6,000 pounds. Uh, I've loaded those up and they work just fine on this gate. Angle iron, there's no way you're gonna put that same load uh, on these. Also being one of the more premium models, it's got extra gate cross members in it, so they're a little bit closer centers. Anybody that's, uh, a, a, say, a commercial landscaper with the heavier frame and heavier gate, uh, this is an ideal trailer for that type of application. Uh, not only is it spring assist and tube in the gate, it's also going to be a tubular bumper. So if you look at some of your more economical models, normally it'll be a piece of angle iron at the rear. Uh, with the tubular bumper, it's nice because you can mount the lights in the bumper. All the wiring is all concealed. Uh, you'll notice you've got your stop turn tails to the left and right, your center markers, and they actually give you an extra set of markers to the outside. This is a seven foot wide trailer, they'll call it. Generally, you're going to get about 83 inches inside wall to wall. Makes it ideal to load uh, just about anything. It's not too much you can't get on a seven foot wide utility. It does have a spare tire mount on the passenger side in front of the axles does not come with the spare itself, does have the mount. This is available in different lengths. It's also available with heavier running gear. You can get this with 5,200 pound axles, uh, 10,000 GVW, or you can go single axle uh, with the uh, same two foot high sides. We do stock this in different sizes and the different GVWs. Again, shown here is a 14, also fairly common in the same model would be a 16 foot. If you have any questions on this particular unit or any of our trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 724-864-1449 or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.